with the government aiming to erase a concept that could jeopardize all of the deliberate misbehavior committed for their advantage, it appears vital to analyze their progress towards this goal thus far. The government has been working on enacting specific regulations that will enable them to accomplish their aims through the SEC. Perhaps this is why they are not advancing a system or explaining the precise technique that would enable cryptocurrencies to operate in an elaborate manner and generate bigger earnings. This video will cover all of these points. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on XRP. Welcome into XRP Armada. By clicking the like button and subscribing, let's help develop the XRP community. Allow us to secure you and prepare you for the wealth of information that will be revealed in this video. The SEC has been attempting to regulate numerous cryptocurrencies for a lengthy period of time. XRP has been one of the most well-known cryptocurrencies of them all. With such a fast rate of acceptance and market absorption, the XRP's destiny was already mapped out. This prompted the SEC to make an additional observation, which resulted in the current litigation. Additionally, it was vital to comprehend its consequences and the long-term influence it may have had on the market. The developments in the lawsuit could have a significant impact for not only XRP, but also the entire cryptocurrency regime. The lawsuit filed against the sale of XRP has come a long way since it first surfaced earlier this year and will conclude in late 2020. Since then, the scenario regarding the future of XRP has been indeterminate and unstable, as prices have plummeted. More crucially, the costs have increased again despite the fact that the matter is still pending in court. We owe our success to the community behind us and, more importantly, to the company's superlative technology for meeting all of their investors' needs. As the case progressed, numerous events occurred, and both parties advanced their respective positions. One of Ripple's primary arguments against the SEC is the fair notice defense and the SEC's lack of clarity. This may be something that a few internal SEC members have asserted existed but has been shamelessly ignored by the SEC and its current chair. The SEC's erroneous belief that XRP is an unregistered security constituted the basis for the current action. This also became the reason why a large number of sales worth more than a billion dollars were questioned. This transaction was contested, and the SEC asserted that these were unregistered and so illegal. As a result, the SEC summoned and charged Ripple's creator and co-founder. Unless registered, these sales will be deemed illegal, implying that the entire transaction was conducted using unaccounted funds. Generally, the SEC evaluates whether an investment is a security or not based on the Harry test. This was disputed in this case, and the exam was conducted properly. The four factors include an investment of money in a joint company, the expectation of profit, and the contribution of a third party. All other cryptocurrencies satisfy the first three criteria. They are insecure due to their non-compliance with the fourth. Perhaps the fourth factor is why the SEC is not challenging the BTC and why it is removed. The SEC asserts that the expectation of earnings from Ripple stems from the efforts of its workers. As a result, the SEC is confident that Ripple is a security, not a coin. As soon as XRP began making the aforementioned sales, the SEC sees them for being unregistered securities. As a result, all XRP sales must be considered unlawful. Since then, the case has taken a few small detours, with the court denying the SEC's request for access to the legal advice Ripple receives from its lawyers. This was not considered a proper course of action and was feared to violate natural justice principles, as well as set a very negative precedent for the broader population. There was a strong possibility that this case would subsequently be cited as a precedent, allowing such an act to occur repeatedly. With time, the court granted Ripple the right to depose the SEC officer who determined that ETH is not a security. Bill Hinman was summoned to testify and clarify a recent speech in which he discussed his opinion on BTC and ETH. This was also the point at which two SEC officials raised an official notice about the lack of clarity, which was one of the defense's primary contentions. Commissioners Hester M. Peirce and Alad L. Roisman brought this up. Both of them came out and warned, via a notice, that there is a major lack of clarity, which is the reason for the current legal action. Returning to the deposition, it was discovered that Hinman urged Ripple not to sell XRP since it was a security. This suggests that Ripple was now aware of the type of sale being done by XRP. 
There is, however, much more to this. He determined in 2018 that XRP was perfectly okay, and he had no issues with it at the time. Within a couple of years, the situation shifted. It went overlooked, however. The following request was for access to Ripple's Slack messages. The court also granted this request in September. The discovery time has been prolonged, indicating that the case has a long way to go before it is concluded. As Gary Gensler joined the team, the possibilities of resolving the case improved. His views influenced him to take a position against cryptocurrencies, and they have maintained their thoughts for a much longer period of time, probably until the present day. He continues by stating that the majority of cryptocurrencies are, in fact, securities. With this perspective in mind, we can be assured that the lawsuit will continue for an extended period of time until the court is convinced that the aforementioned accusations are false and the SEC establishes beyond a reasonable doubt that XRP is a security. He asserts that, of all existing cryptocurrencies, XRP is one of the most naughty, and as a result, all attention has been focused on it for an extended period of time. One of the documents that the SEC will compile is a memo, which is a legal study of XRP. In a nutshell, this document will include one of three findings. One may argue that XRP is a security, that XRP is not a security, or that XRP's status is unknown. In either case, the outcome may not be entirely favorable to the SEC, which is a good thing. This is when the SEC decided to devise something further. The SEC has now begun requesting transcripts of meetings attended by the founder and co-founder. In a more concrete sense, we believe that the SEC's case may be resolved if the court considers the aforementioned perspective. Gary Gensler has also stated that Coinbase must come and register with the Securities and Exchange Commission. This followed his declaration that all cryptocurrencies are securities. Once they do that, and if it is determined that XRP is a security, they would be legally permitted to do so, and Coinbase might once again see XRP listed. The entire objective is to demonstrate how centralized the XRP system is. As this is addressed, we will gain a clearer understanding of how things have been progressing. Once this occurs, the gains generated by XRP's large trading volume will be properly removed, increasing the likelihood of it being listed shortly. One alternative is to wrap the XRP in ERC-20, similar to how certain other cryptocurrencies are published on Coinbase, even if they are considered securities by the SEC. Coinbase may utilize this mechanism to list XRP as well, and hence we believe this is a possibility. If you want to learn more about XRP, we have two further movies waiting for you on the conclusion screen. Subscribe and give us a thumbs up. I appreciate your time and interest, I'll see you in the future video. Before we conclude, please keep in mind that cryptocurrency prices fluctuate quickly, and by the time you see this video, it may have changed to an entirely different value. The information contained in this video does not represent investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other type of advice, and you should not rely on any of it. The information contained in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Before making any investing decisions, conduct your own due research and consult with a financial professional.